Hey Sagittarius, welcome to my channel, Badison Intuitive Tarot. Hope you guys are doing amazing out there. In today's reading, I'm taking a look into your romantic love life for the week of May 2024. I'm going to pull a seven card spread, see who shows up in your reading today with romantic intentions towards you. Whether it's a new person heading your way this week or a returning lover, or you're already currently dealing with someone right now, Sagittarius, and you're just wanting to make certain that you guys are on the same page and that you can continue to trust this person's intentions with you, see how they truly feel about you deep down, and to see if there's any challenges up away that might you know, hinder things and you could have a chance to prepare for them, either to avoid them or to make it less challenging. Whichever your status is at the moment, Sagittarius, I will try my very best to see who you're connecting to this week, what your story could be with this person and how the situation may unfold for the next seven days. Just keep an open mind that I do get really nosy in these readings. I don't hold back. I give the good, the bad, the ugly and everything in between. So only take what resonates, leave what doesn't resonate behind and not to give your power away to tarot cards. You're in full control of your decisions. All right. So with that being said, let's do this. I've already pre-shuffled, I'm just going to give it a few more goes. Spirit, please tap into the energy of Sagittarius today, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. Who's heading towards them this week and what can Sagittarius expect out of this situation? Sagittarius is open-minded to the messages you have in store for them today, as long as what comes through is for Sagittarius's highest and greatest good. Who is this person? How will they recognize who this person is to them? What's their story and how do they both feel about one another? What is this person's next actions towards Sagittarius? What do we have for them? Sagittarius, love, May 2024. What is their weekly tarot reading? Two more shuffles. One and two. Let's rock this and deck for my awesome Saggies. Okay, so let's first dive into the person heading towards you. Let's look at the actual person that's going to be um, in your life this week. How do they feel about you? We have the Four of Wands. Now, when the Four of Wands shows up as how someone feels about another person, this person is pretty much saying that this week they feel supported by you, which makes them want to support you in return. For some of you, this person could be telling me that you're already in an established relationship with each other. You may already be married, you may already live together, or you guys have already integrated your lives into each other's where you have met each other's friends and family, or this person wants that to happen very soon if it hasn't happened yet. Okay, you could be also dealing with a fellow fire sign as this is the energy of Aries, Leo, and you. But it doesn't have to be a fire sign. It's just someone that's feeling very physically attracted to you, feels a burning passion for you, um, and just feels like you're a part of their community of people that they count on. Okay, but we'll see. We'll see. I want to see the rest of the spread before I give them the green light. I want to look at their intentions because intentions to me are very important. What's their intentions with Sagittarius this week? The lovers. So if you're not already linked up with this person, Sagittarius, get ready because this person is wanting to change that very quickly. Now, if this is someone that you're already together with, this person intends to grow old with you. I'm seeing someone fantasizing about marriage with you if you're not already married to each other. I am getting for some of you, there might be a decision that needs to be made in order to get this relationship to where someone wants it. Because I do see in the far back a wee bit of a third party a little love triangle where maybe you have another person in your life that you have to choose between or they do. I'll know more when I clarify, but it is telling me that in May, as we enter Gemini season, as this is Gemini energy, something tells me that your love life with this person is going to make more sense of where it's going, whether it's going somewhere or not. You're going to know at the start of Gemini season, which is in two weeks, I think. Okay. I'm strongly getting um, from Aries season to Gemini season, something that's been in the works between you and another person. All right, let's take a look at their behavior. What's their behavior? We have the strength card, major for Leo. Now this person is behaving in a way that shows me that they've been protecting some information or protecting their feelings in some regard because Leo rules the heart and the back and spine. And the strength card is the energy of like taming that, that primal instinct to do something before you're, you're needing to do it. So it's like this person is holding back, taking some sort of action much sooner than they should. I hope I'm explaining this correctly. It's like this person may have wanted to um, come towards you in this way 
earlier, but may have felt like they had to hold off for some reason. Whether they felt like they may have would they would have scared you off by being too too um, intense in the relationship. Like someone that may have felt I love you but wanted to wait before saying it in fear of scaring the other person away. Or this person wanted to like take your connection to a next level but held back because they didn't know how you felt about the situation. And the more they feel supported by you, the more they feel like they can come towards you and be vulnerable. I'm just getting that someone's been holding back what they really wanted to do. Like taming that primal instinct to just take action now. Um, and if you're dealing with a Leo, Leos usually don't hold back. They, they, they go for it. Um, let's take a look at how you feel about this person. Okay. Cause there's a lot of fire here. How does Sagittarius feel? The nine of cups, you like them too. The nine of cups is telling me that this week you overall feel very content in your relationship with this person, regardless of what happened last week, two weeks ago, a month ago, this week is what we're focusing on the next seven days. And you're telling me that over the next seven days, you're happy, you're content. You're not focusing on anything beyond the moment you're feeling right now. You're not trying to get yourself too caught up in, you know, expectations because you know that expecting something could lead you to feeling you know like you got disappointed so you're trying not to set yourself up for expecting too much right now you're just going with the flow but you are feeling very emotionally strong right now you're feeling totally in control of your emotions and you're happy um, the nine of cups could also be telling me that this week you may be getting some good news surrounding other areas of your life that's making you feel like you're on top of your game all right because the nine of cups is that energy of feeling like you're just hitting all your check marks things that you're manifesting seem to be coming in full swing left and right and if you don't feel that way right now this may be a sign that they want you to tap into that feeling of how you would feel if you had everything you wanted so that way you can manifest it much quicker because the secret to manifestation is feeling the feeling you would feel if you already had that said thing in your life all right Sorry, my camera's being a jerk. Let's take a look at your challenge this week. The death card, Scorpio energy. So when the death card shows up in the challenge, I read it in reverse. And the death card in reverse is the energy of feeling like something hasn't changed. Something is not changing the way that it's needing to change in order to bring in new beginnings, new opportunities. Um, I'll have to clarify that to see what it's talking about because you both overall look happy. So it feels like it might be something else that may be like hindering something, all right? And I'm looking at this card, it shows me the dead of winter and that little bit of sunlight trying to come through, all right? So someone may be struggling with seeing something in its clear, clear form. Something may be kind of murky, you know? Hmm, interesting. What's Sagittarius's potential weekly outcome? The Knight of Wands, Sagittarius energy. You look friggin' happy. Whatever you've got going on, Sagittarius, you look happy. This is your court card. This is you having a week where you're like, yes, man, I'm having a good day. Every day seems to be a great day. You're coming in with a lot of confidence in yourself. You're coming in very attractive. You're coming in attracting attention because the Nine of Wands gets attention everywhere they go. But I'm noticing something about you, Sagittarius, that maybe um, I didn't pick up on early on. The, the number nine is all about like being on your own set journey. And it's the energy of being totally content on your own, not needing to be in a relationship. You not being codependent on having someone fulfill your wishes. You can fulfill your own nine of cups. And then I'm looking at you on this motorcycle and there's only one room for one butt. There's only room for one, one seat right there, which is telling me that this person would love to be in a relationship with you or to maintain an already established relationship with you. But you, however, you're in this energy of eh, I'm not focusing too much on a commitment right now. I'm just wanting to enjoy this person. Sure, I like to date this person. I'm attracted to them, but I'm not going to lose any sleep about where this relationship goes. You're coming in very free in your energy, Sagittarius. You're, I feel like you're practicing a lot of detachment in order to manifest what you want quicker. That could be what I'm getting because I am getting that there is a relationship you do want to have, but you practicing a lot of detachment is making it happen quicker for you. When you tell the universe you want something and you just set it and forget it, 
That's when it comes quicker. Attaching yourself to an outcome or attaching yourself to set thing or I will only feel this great when I have this in my life is going to create resistance. So you look like you're, you're landing in you know all the things that you're wanting for yourself you're just overall happy and i feel like you're going to continue that mindset going forward and it's going to really pay off okay but i need to see what that death card is all about because something's not changing um what's your advice the king of cups okay with your advice being the king of cups this is you just honoring your heart doing things that make Saji feel good, do things that make you feel like you're taking good care of yourself. And by being in that energy of taking good care of yourself, you're going to attract people who are gonna to wanna to take care of you in return. You know, how you feel about yourself internally is what's gonna attract your external environment, Sagittarius. And it looks like you're doing a really good job of it. And if you have not adopted that mindset, they're really encouraging you to do that because that could really change your week and month and year, okay? What's your overall energy? The Knight of Cups. You've got someone expressing feelings to you this week, Sagittarius. Knights are action-oriented people. They take action, they pursue. They're on the journey of you know, finding something. And we already established you're the Knight of Wands here, and you've got someone coming towards you as the Knight of Cups. Looking like love at first sight between the two of you. You may have someone that's very artistic, very musical, someone that just really knows how to express themselves. And with this person's intentions being the lovers, I feel like someone intends to be very romantic with you towards Gemini season. I'm strongly getting Gemini season, heading into Cancer season, being when your love life just seems to flourish. Okay, and then I see the Six of Cups. Someone here might feel like you guys have a lot of memories together already. I need to clarify this because I've been itching to freaking clarify that card, but I don't want to get ahead of myself. So I'm going to start clarifying your person's feelings for you first. All right, let's start with Four of Wands. This is a really good reading because whatever happens with you and this person, I'm just happy for you. You know, you're smiling bright here and I love it. Why the four of wands for how this person feels about Sagittarius this week? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> the sun and the strength card is back. Strong Leo here. Um, it doesn't have to be a Leo, but man, you're putting a huge smile on somebody's face this week, Sagittarius. I don't know who you are, but you're just like contagious. You know, your energy is contagious. It's like you remind me of that person that walks in a room and no matter how you know moody everybody was beforehand, when you walk in, all of a sudden everyone starts laughing. It's like you know how to make people laugh. You might be funny, charismatic. You just have this charm about you. And if this is someone new in your life, they're pretty much saying that they're very smitten by you, very smitten by your charm, how you carry yourself. Um, fire signs are really good at like getting noticed and i feel like um, this person's definitely noticing you now if this is someone that you already have history with and there has been some challenges between the two of you they're still saying that you are the bright part of their life you are someone that you know brings out a lot of positive light to their life even during the midst of challenging times I, as I see this death card and there's a little bit of sunlight trying to come through. So maybe someone lost a family member and you're there for them. Um, or they are going through something and you seem to be the only one that's pulling them out of some sort of dark abyss with that death card. Let's clarify your feelings. Why is the Nine of Cups how Sagittarius feels about this person? Why the Nine of Cups, please? Why the Nine of Cups, please? The King of Swords. And the tower in reverse. You're trying to avoid a tower with this person. So you're trying to like relinquish control of the situation and just go with the flow and not get too emotionally attached. Because the King of Swords is telling me that you're in this energy of, I refuse to get my heart totally involved. All right, I refuse to get caught up in, you know, just letting all my defenses down. You're trying to avoid any surprises your way. Because the tower in reverse, that's you trying to like not let anything come in between the blessings that you have created for yourself. Because you know that 
once you get out of this happy energy and you fall into this energy of stress, anxiety, that just means more is on the way because your vibration attracts your surroundings. How you vibrate is what you attract. Birds of a feather flock together. If you're stressed out and anxious and mad and frustrated at the world, you're gonna attract more people who are gonna wanna be misery loves company and it's just gonna bring your vibe down. So you're trying not to let this connection get the better of you. You're trying to go with the flow and just enjoy the little moments and not focus on the what ifs and what could happen. You're being very smart. You're being very smart. Even though you're emotionally open here, you're keeping your heart chakra on a bed of ice and keeping it well preserved until you know that this person can be someone that you can trust. You're using your head, all right? You do have a little bit of a wall up. I'm seeing repeated nines for you. Some of you could be in your personal year number nine where this is a year of tying up loose ends, closing out cycles that no longer belong in your life as you prepare for your personal year number one in the year 2025. Let's, um, let's dive into that death card. I want to see what that's going, what that's telling me. Someone here may have gotten out of a relationship not too long ago and is still grieving the loss of that connection. Uh, why the death card? The Ace of Swords and the King of Pentacles. Now, the Ace of Swords, when it's in the challenge position, that's telling me that someone's lacking clarity. And I mentioned that earlier when I was talking about how only a little ray of that sunlight is coming through the, those branches. All right. It's like someone still feels like something's a little bit murky. Something is still like there's a coldness surrounding this relationship. Someone's feeling a cold chill and is trying to figure out why they're feeling that. And you're coming in with this King of Swords energy surrounded by snow. So there might be something about this connection where you're like, wait a minute, there still feels to be like a little cold chill in the air. I need to protect myself. I need like, I need to keep it together. You're trying to stay in your, your crown chakra here um, until you can see if this person's going to uh, live up to some sort of promise or intent. Let's take a look at their intentions. And then I'm going to get another card off of that death card. Their intentions with you this week, Sagittarius, is the lover's card. Who else got that? Scorpio got that card. Actually, pretty much everyone's been getting that card lately. Um, I'm getting a lot of, you know, blessings in May. April showers bring May flowers, and I'm seeing a lot of flowers falling off of that tree through the wind. Why the lover's card? The Ten of Cups, this person wants to be with you big time. Three of Cups, they want to date you or come together with you if you guys already tried dating and then things kind of paused a little bit. Some of you guys could be still in that friendship stage where this person's not wanting to be just your friend, they want to be your lover. Temperance is telling me that this person's trying to follow your lead and let you call the shots at this moment because at this point, they feel like they have to hold back what they really want to do. Because it feels like this person would already be in a full-fledged relationship with you by now if you would allow it. So they're trying to hold back and follow your lead because you're giving off the vibe that you just want to kind of like go with the flow and be, you know, casual about it. What's this card? The Eight of Cups. Now, the Eight of Cups looked like it was landing in both directions. So that could be telling me, if I, was, if I were to read it in reverse, it would tell me that this person intends to come towards you with a lot of love and romance, but maybe there's something that needs to be released and let go of because the Eight of Cups in reverse is the energy of being codependent on a thing or a feeling or a person. And since the Death card is in the challenge position with the Ace of Swords, this could be telling me that you're not taking this too seriously just yet because you feel it in your heart that this this person may be needing a little bit more time, needing to officially release something before coming towards you. And if that's not the case, if that's not the case, that could be um, that could be telling me that there's something else that someone's still needing to transition from. Because the Eight of Cups in Reverse is pretty much the energy of walking away but not fully done. It's like, all right, I'm walking but not fully through the front door yet. The, you know, still haven't made it to the entrance. And that could be why the death card is in the challenge. Something hasn't fully ran its cycle for some sort of new cycle to begin. You know, you can't put your clothes in the dryer if it's still in the washing cycle. You know, it's the same concept. Something is not ready for someone to give to it yet. So that's possibly why someone is holding back their desire because they know it's not the right time. Whatever that means for you. Because temperance is also about healing. 
Maybe you're dealing with someone who's a widower and lost their partner through a death not long ago or there's just something else that someone is still needing to process and grieve right um i mean you do have the tower right here but the tower is in reverse for some of you maybe this is someone that you've already had a failed attempt with with that six of cups energy and you haven't really walked away from the underlying issue that kind of hindered you guys being together before and you're trying to figure out if you guys can even work together and, and like balance something out could be what i'm getting let me clarify this person's behavior now if i were to read it in the upright position that eight of cups that could be also telling me that this person intends to come towards you with love and romance with that lover's card to see a future with you with the Ten of Cups, to date you Three of Cups, maybe after already walking away the first time, after you walked away from them the first time. I'm getting like a failed attempt for somebody. Like someone already shot their shot and, and missed. And then I see the Judgment card and the Queen of Swords. Someone may have not used their judgment recently and is getting another chance at it. Um, and someone's like, all right, you're getting another chance. Don't blow it this time. I mean it. Could be what you may be saying to this person. You're just trying to prevent another tower. So their behavior towards you this week is the strength card. Okay. The strength card is all about bravery. It's all about, you know, overcoming obstacles. And then I see the five of swords. So if you and this person had any fights or any disagreements, this is the energy of taming, you know, taming what they really want to do because if they may feel like they need to give you some space to prevent another tower i'm strongly getting like five different messages and it's starting to overwhelm me so i need a second hold on let me uh, pull from these cards really quick so i can get like a definite answer here i had to do this exact same thing during scorpio's reading it was like pulling my brain in two different directions i don't like it when spirit gives me like too many um, possibilities of what a situation could be. I like to narrow it down to at least one or two at the most. Let me get another card on that, please, Spirit. Why the strength card? For this person's behavior with Sagittarius this week? Let's narrow it down, please. What's going on here? What's going on here with Sagittarius and this person? Why is their behavior this week? The two of cups, the star, and the three of swords. So for some of you, you and this person already had a failed attempt. Someone else may have gotten in the picture, gotten involved. Something was external. Um, you guys have a beautiful love story here, Two of Cups, that someone's trying to keep the faith and, you know, hope about with that star energy. But someone feels like they have to tread lightly because of what already went down. I'm strongly getting that. It's almost the energy of, all right, I guess I'm getting another chance to like woo Sagittarius and win them over or ask them out on a date or ask them to, you know, come back home or whatever the case may be. And they're trying to like take, take, you know, the path that has least resistance because you're coming in with this energy of unicorn hair. I don't care. <laughs> you know, you've got this spirit about you Sagittarius that might be intimidating to this person. They may be looking at you like, wow, why does Sagittarius just look so unbothered right now? Look so like, you know, like they could take me or leave me. You know, you're giving off that vibe. Even if you don't feel it in the inside, it's the energy of looking like it on the outside. Fire signs are really good at looking confident, even if behind closed doors they've cried in the shower, you know, just, you know, wallowed in a lot of pain. Why the Knight of Wands for the potential weekly outcome for Sagittarius? Now, if you're in like a no contact situation or a situationship, I will pull your person's hidden feelings for you at the end of the read. Why the Knight of Wands? The Ace of Cups and the Six of Swords. So the Six of Swords is moving on from the Five of Swords. You may be getting happy news that you and somebody were able to get over um, some sort of disagreement and you're like, yes, finally we're over that shit. Or some of you may be pulling away from this person altogether to avoid another tower and you've got a new love offer coming in. This could very well be someone else getting your attention this week, solidifying your, solidifying your desire to just like pull away from something that may have already failed once and you don't want to like fail again okay failure is not an option when you're dealing with a fire sign 
Now, I feel like something is going to happen very um, unexpectedly because when the Wheel of Fortune shows up, it's one of those expect the unexpected Sagittarius. You can't really predict what's going to happen next. Just take your hands off the steering wheel and let it ride out, okay? Which I see you doing right here. You got your hand off of that steering wheel and just keeping one on there for good measure. Um, let's get your advice. The King of Cups is heading towards you. There's like two different energies coming towards you. You got a Knight of Cups and you got a King of Cups. One might be a little older than you. The other could be the same age. Why the King of Cups as Sagittarius' advice? The Five of Pentacles in reverse and the Two of Cups. If you're connecting with someone that's showing you great gratitude to have you in their life and you feel like there's a lot of mutual love, mutual respect, Two of Cups, give to the situation in a way that will allow this person to feel nurtured and loved and not left out in the cold in any way. But if you feel like you're dealing with someone that is not giving you anything to go off of or leaving you feeling like you're just going to waste your time, then don't waste your time. Cut them loose. Let's clarify this Knight of Cups. Life is too precious to waste time on people that won't give us time or who repeatedly show us that they are not willing to change or work on the things that we already specifically said we are not happy with. If someone's not willing to change, you can't force them. You can just go in a different direction. Why the Knight of Cups, the Fool, and the Six of Pentacles? So Sagittarius, it looks like you're getting ready to start a brand new cycle. It feels like at the start of um, Gemini season, which is in about what a week or two, you're getting ready to step on a whole new path. And that path is taking you to a bright looking sun that's not covered up by branches. It's like you see it. You know what you're looking at. And it's beautiful. So I feel like you're definitely taking a time in your life to just be selfish you know, healthily, you know, healthy dose of selfishness is the nine of cups and the full energy. Not doing things that make other people happy, but what makes you happy. So for zodiac signs that came through your reading today, I have Scorpio in here strongly, strong Scorpio, strong Leo. Um, Cancer energy is here. Sagittarius is, is here, Aries is here, and Gemini. Those are the main ones that wanted to come through your reading, but Scorpio and Leo predominantly. But it could be any zodiac sign. It's just it's coming in with a lot of fixed energy telling me that um, once you make this decision, you're not changing your mind because fixed signs, when they make a decision, they don't go back and change. It's, there's like the switch goes off and you can't change that person's mind. And I feel like you're the one doing it. Once you make your mind up, there's no going back. So you need someone to act right the first time around. Otherwise, you're going in a different direction. Please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl Sagittarius. And if you would like to book a private reading with me, you'll find the link to my website in the description box below of every video. Also, every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, I go live with the All Signs Their Feelings for You spread. This most recent All Signs reading I did, I am doing a tarot deck giveaway. The cards that I used in today's reading, not these exact ones, because these ones are my new ones that I just replaced, but my old ones I'm donating to a subscriber. So if you want to be entered into the drawing, all you have to do is click on the link that takes you to the All Signs reading, and underneath that video, just comment Badis and Tarot, and I'll put your name into the jar, your YouTube handle into the jar, and I'll announce the winner on the following Sunday morning, which I think is May 12th. I could be wrong. Um, so yeah, and then, yeah, I'll ship it out. It comes with a box and everything. I still feel your energy around me. I never believed in these things before. I do now. Remember, this is for my no contact group. Is it focusing? Come on, camera. Okay. Being away from you hurts like hell. I didn't realize it would be this difficult. You were my sanctuary. You were the only person I could confide in, and I betrayed your trust. Someone's got some regret in regards to you. I'm trying to move on, but thoughts of you still linger, and I can't control them. Oh man, now I'm going to have that cranberry song linger stuck in my head again. Every time I read that card, I get that cranberry song linger in my head. Maybe that song means something to you. All right, so that's for you. Um, I'll check back with you in a few days for your next weekly update. Until then, smile into your cheeks, sir. Do what's best for you, Sagittarius. I absolutely adore you guys. All right, so I'll check back with you soon. All right, rock that like and subscribe button for your girl, and I'll see you later.